Do you suffer from the effects of a fear of loss? What are the signs? Join Psychic Guide Ainsley McLeod to explore this common past life fear. Greetings. Well, let's say you lost everything in a past life, that you were the only survivor of an attack that left your family dead and your home completely destroyed. Well, how's that going to show up in this life? And before I continue, let me remind you to stay to the end of this video for a comment from my spirit guides. You might not even know you have a past life fear of loss until you actually have something to lose. For many people, that's actually their children. And you might know this, that if you have kids, uh, once you had kids, you became terrified that something awful would happen to them. Uh, if you've actually had a past life where you specifically lost your children, then of course the fear is going to be even stronger. Now the resonances or symptoms are varied, but one of the most common is actually a reluctance to get too attached to material things. It's your soul's way of avoiding hurt, and it can make you something of a minimalist. The, the soul's belief is that the less I have, the, the less I have to lose. Conversely, you can become a hoarder where the soul feels, well, the more I have, the safer I feel. A fear of loss can make you uncertain about the future too. If you have a heightened con concern, heightened fear of floods or earthquakes or something like that, well, that can be a sign that you have a past life fear of loss. Again, you've lost everything in a past life. If you feel a sense of pointlessness, it can be the feeling that some external force, something you have no control over, will come along and take everything away. Now, for younger souls, the fear of loss shows up as greed. Jeb Bush, who complains about the taxes he has to pay on his $22 million wealth, is one example. Now, he'll never run out of money, but the underlying fear says that he still needs more. Older souls are more concerned about simply having enough to last. You might know this one. That, and also if you fear being homeless or becoming a, a bag lady or something like that, despite, of course, having a, a good income and savings in the bank, when there's really no reason for it. Well, the underlying reason may be loss uh, and could be related to homelessness in a past life. If you clear clutter every few months or you feel really uncomfortable with too much stuff around, well, the chances are good too that it's, it's more than just tidying up that you're doing. It's actually an expression of your fear of loss. To learn more about past life fears, visit soulinstruction.com. There you can download a chapter from Ainsley's book, The Instruction, and gain free access to Ainsley's inspirational video series to help you on your journey towards living the life your soul intended. My spirit guide suggests that a way to begin healing a fear of loss is to give to others. By helping those who have little, you actually heal yourself, and this is considered a spiritual act, and it will actually have a profound impact on your healing journey.